everyone and welcome to our new episode of the Three Whisketeers. My name, I'm your host, Jamie, and this is our angel-haired hipster, Curtis, and our happy hunter, Eddie. <laughs> and uh, this week we have some new whiskeys that we'd like to talk to you about. Go ahead and... Should we Which unveil? one did you want to do first? Well, just unveil them. Voila! We have two whiskeys. Uh, both of them are Rebel Yell. One is their standard bourbon, and the other one is their small batch rye. And uh, the regular bourbon before, it's a nice bourbon. It's a weeded bourbon, like a Weller. Um, the rye, I've never had their rye, so I'm sort of looking forward to this. Awesome. Good. Good. You guys great. said that you were beginning to like rye. In the beginning, you said you didn't like rye at all. In the well, beginning, you, in the beginning, I did not. No. So I thought it might no, be kind of nice to more, try yeah. both. Yeah. And if we're really, really nice, up behind Eddie, there is the 10-year-old rebel up there. Calm down. And, and maybe we might just <laughs> sample a little bit of jinx. that. <laughs> awesome. Uh, you, we want to start with the rye? Should we just unopen them at the same time? Sure. We also have wonderful bagels from Brugger's. Tell us about Brugger's bagels. Well, there are wonderful bagels. I love them. I used to be a baker at Brugger's, and so I sort of kind of am biased. But we went up today and got some wonderful fresh bagels from uh, Courtney and Grace. Yes, mm. very lovely. Mm. Mm. I see why you go there so much. Mm. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to enjoy good problems. old southern whiskey with some nice juice bagels, I guess. I don't know how that goes together, but I don't really think you really have to worry about when They go there. together on this table because we said so. Oh, okay. And you know what I like about Brewers Bagels is that they're homemade and they're warm. What do you get there? The, you have a rye there and you also have um, oh. you know, some bagels there that are a little bit sweeter. Those might you know, kind of go together well, perhaps. Well, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. Maybe you should have gotten a, well, I guess it's a pumpernickel that they have. It's not rye. Unfortunately, okay. someone didn't go early enough in the morning to get bagels, so we didn't have a whole lot of choice of what bagels were left in the afternoon. Oh, I see. That's yeah. what the problem was. That was what the problem was. Okay. Because yeah. uh, I'm telling you, they have a whole lot of variety of bagels there. They have the everything, and then you they have, have like, even the plain bagels are awesome. It's just when they're warm, oof. Okay, so and this, this also is the Glen Claren glass. Yes, that we talked about. And last you do time. that with you, you do all the whiskey with that, right? Well, not always, but what we seem to be using. Would you use? Well, I mean, you could use anything. You could use a cocktail glass. You could. I mean, I usually like glass, but I mean, I mean, you could use a paper cup if you wanted. I mean, whatever you wanted to drink whiskey in would be just fine. What's the best ex way to experience? Are you going to hand that to him, huh? Yeah, I thought I would. Okay. So that's yours. Thank you. I'm going to see if I can uh, give him a nice view of what this whiskey looks like, but it doesn't want to focus too well. That's okay. They have an idea. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Well, it's definitely a rye. And I think this is one of the smoother ryes I've ever had. Um, I know Bullet makes a rye, and I don't know if I can compare that to this, but this one definitely has a sharper taste and finish. But it's definitely smooth for like a rye. Um, so what's the bottle say it, we're supposed to taste in? Well, what if you're a resident uh, reader? Okay. <laughs> Now, a lot of whiskeys have rye in them, but it has to have 51% as a minimum in order to be a rye whiskey. Hmm, that's very interesting. Now, I, I got a, a question. Is bourbon, okay, what, so this isn't a bourbon, this is a rye, mm -hmm. and that's two different things. Yes. Even though it's made in the, the area for the bourbon whiskey, am I right, is saying that right? Uh, well, you know, whiskey can be made in a lot of different places. So everywhere bourbon makes is... makes rye. Like you can get a sc rye made from Scotland. Uh, no, not so much. I mean, there are some uh, some some Scottish varieties that have like done that, but it's really in order to be in theory a Scotch, 
it has to be a single mold. And the single mold is always barley. Oh, okay. 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 Well, in this one, where we're supposed to taste, it says, Our straight rye starts with our rebellious spice with a surprisingly smooth and sweet finish. And it says it's aged 24 months, distilled and aged in Indiana. Wow, that's very interesting. Indiana. I'm sure there's some controversy about that, and we'll get to that. But no, uh, rye can be made anywhere, then. That's kind of my question, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, okay. I mean, there's a bunch of really nice rye made here in Iowa. Right. Oh. There's uh, the Mississippi Distillery, which makes a, a really wonderful Cody rye. Okay. Of mm. course, there's the Templeton rye that has become yeah. very famous. Who wants a raisin bagel? Sure. Okay. <laughs> you want raisin, raisin or blueberry? Blueberry. Blueberry. Did you wash your hands before you touched my food? Well, yeah, but that was before I spit on them. <sighs> So I typically enjoy my uh, bagels like Cookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like to take mine and I like to flip them like this, like a tortilla, especially when they're fresh. Hmm. How do you like to enjoy your bagels, Curtis? I like them fresh out of the oven when I work there. Mm -hmm. And I don't even use cream cheese, just a tiny bit of butter hot honey grain right out of the oven. Nothing better. Honey grain, huh? This is uh, this is a honey grain. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And quite tasty. What what should I taste when I when I drink this? Um whiskey. And particularly rye whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so it's what do you taste? First thing that you guys did was you all took the whiskey, you put it to your lips and you drank it. I Smell the nose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really analyzed it before I actually put it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe you guys ought to slow down. Well, I, and enjoy I life. Of, I thought of that as I was doing that, and then at the last second, I tried to breathe through my nose as I was drinking it. Mm -hmm. And I got really confused. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I did. I pick it up to the nose, and I did smell it, and then I heard some crazy noises coming from the back from. Uh, burnt hanging and then it kinda, I just kind of got scared and I just took my sip. You're a whiskey tear. <laughs> Be bold. What are your thoughts? This is your first time having it. I don't, I want to say I've had, since a small batch, it's supposed to be like stronger than other, um, than say like uh, in general. Because this one is, there's a spike to it. There's a real spike to it. And it does say it's supposed to be spicy. But it's spicy and strong all the way to the end, but yet it's pretty smooth. Okay. So a small batch, what's why, why is small batch something that people covet? Um, Obviously because it's a small batch, but... What else <laughs> is there? There's small batch and then there's single barrel. Is that Does that go with rye also? A small batch would probably be a selection of many barrels. Okay. Single barrel means it came from one barrel. Okay. So, uh, like a lot of single barrels will actually have uh, a label. A label that will mm -hmm. actually tell you what barrel it came from, where it was stored in the warehouse, and you'll you'll know that written right there on the bottle. Small batch might have that, and um, but you know it might be from. A, a whole group of barrels. Um, this rye is uh, it's really nice. What what I have heard is this, and when it's a small batch, it's supposed to be like a a little stronger. You know, like more maybe higher alcohol content or spikier or. Or just, just, just everything's just a little more intense. I think you're thinking it's barrels, barrel strength. Barrel strength. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so small batch. Uh, they took a couple dozen barrels. That the Rebel Yell is forty percent. The small batch is forty five. So it is slightly higher alcohol content. Yeah, that's right, guys. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> that, <laughs> that this is a perfect example of a whiskey doesn't have to be really expensive to be really a good whiskey. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. There's a lot of really good whiskeys out there that aren't a whole lot of money. And this would be a good, how much, what do you think retail price was on that? I, I think
think I paid nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's pretty. That, that is, this is what it, that, that that price point. I really liked it because you can find unique stuff that's kind of off the mainstream, and this is a, a great one to start off with if you want to get into different bourbons rather than just your um, Jack Daniels or Jim Beam. If you want to get off that bandwagon finally and experience some better bourbons, this would be a good one to start off with. Yeah. Um, it is. It, it, it's, it's a little more a little more heat than most bourbons. So some people might not like that. Okay. It's a little stronger. Uh, a lot more intense. But that's okay. I mean, it's just a really nice bourbon. And Okay. Oh my gosh. Eddie? <laughs> uh, this, I see that has a gold medal winner. Where was that from? I'm not really not sure. Is I guess Russian? we should find out, shouldn't we? It is a gold medal winner from... <laughs> San Francisco. Really? 2016 gold, me gold medal winner. I had no idea. I didn't know the Olympics were in No, San where Francisco. does it say that was distilled? Because this bottle says it was distilled in, in a, it was distilled and aged in Indiana. Now that's a bourbon whiskey. So if you call it a bourbon whiskey, that means it's supposed to be uh, distilled in Bourbon County, Kentucky, right? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. And there isn't a county called Bourbon in Kentucky. There isn't. No. So what what makes a bourbon then? A bourbon is a uh, what is it made that it is in a barrel a certain particular part of, piece of time mm -hmm. and, and, and that it it is basically usually from Kentucky but not always not always okay um, uh, we're, because we're, that, that term's getting really loose now I mean getting loose. Well, this we're here definitely in Iowa not Cedar loose. Ridge is making bourbons and you know no, well, they do call it Iowa bourbon they call it Iowa bourbon Right. Oh, yeah, okay. Iowa so bourbon. Cheap. Okay, so. <clears throat> so, so I mean, distilled and aged by Rebel Yell Distillery, Louisville, Kentucky. Right. That's right. So it's, it's it's actually actually not. They don't actually have their own distillery. Oh, they don't. No, uh, Lexco owns them and several others. I think they also own uh, Ezra Craig, mm -hmm. a few others, and uh, they pay. Oh, I can't remember the name of the distillery. Heavens something distillery and they they have them finish all of their alcohol to their specifications mm -hmm. so here's one of those examples where it is distilled in Indiana mm -hmm. and it this. is yeah not and, not not what we're drinking the yeah, no, what we're drinking no what we're drinking says it was aged and distilled in Louisville Kentucky okay this one Okay. This that one, one. This one's Indiana, so that this is what you would be talking about. Now. Right. There's a lot of them that are that way. Mm -hmm. Templeton Rye is that way. Uh huh. Okay. There's a, there's a lot of them now, and there's a sort of controversy now. Is it really truly a, you know, a a whiskey that should be appreciated because they all come from Indiana, from this one distillery mm -hmm. that mass markets it, but everybody finishes it differently. Um, yeah. One of my favorites, Dickles. Is is made in is distilled in Indiana and then finished elsewhere, mm -hmm. and they do a wonderful job finishing it. So I mean, I think that's what's important. What does finish, finishing finishing mean? They put it in a barrel, they store it, they decide when it's ready to be sold and, and whether it's it, it's the way it is. Okay. I mean, there. I mean, Dickel's Rye it is the exact same alcohol from Indiana as Templeton Rye is, but I prefer Dickel's. I mean, the tastes are completely different. It's the same base, but it's finished differently. So the distillery would say, um, here, we, here's how we made it. We would like you to finish it this way, or does the... No, no. The distillery in Indiana makes it for everybody. Okay. It makes it for a lot of people. Right. Not everybody, okay. but a lot of people. And then those people take it, and then they finish it. Right. Where they finish it, I don't know. They decide how to finish it, though. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. where you get, that's where you get your different whiskeys and your different flavors. So that was the biggest, that was like a controversy with Templeton Rye. It was supposed to be an Iowa thing, but they were having someplace in Indiana distilling their alcohol. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I, I heard that on the news and everybody was going bananas. But I didn't care about this stuff, so I thought it was dumb. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that takes care of it then, doesn't it? No. 
That's all the farther you wanted to explore, mm -hmm. you know? You read the headline and moved on. Yeah. Okay, so what do you what do you think about what's in that glass right now? Yeah. It's the same as I've ever tasted, and it's it's always the same with Rebel Hill. It's okay. really so, nice and consistent. Okay. And I really like that. I know that whenever I buy a bottle of that, that's what I'm getting. What were your thoughts on this? I think this one is really, I, 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 I want to say it's watered down. I don't want to say I don't I, I don't want to say it's smooth, but it's easy to drink. But it's like it's almost like uh, I can just I don't know. Watered down. Well, I, I feel it's watered down. <laughs> I, I just think like there's flavor there, but it's kind of light. There's there's some tartiness there, but it's light. And then it's like there's like no burn, and usually there's like something that kind of stops. Really? In the back of your throat, it's just like okay. There's a smooth finish. This is just like okay. It's kind of like water. Uh, I think I think there's it's a little bit of heat to it. Um, other than that, I, there's not a big burn though. I, no. I agree with you there. Mm -hmm. No, I think there's a heat to it. I, I don't know where you're not getting the heat. No, I'm getting I'm getting all the I'm getting a little bit of heat, but it's just not much. It's just like ding, and then poof, it's gone. I, I don't think it's rough. I think it's pretty smooth. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. I don't know if smooth is the word, but yeah. my opinion. Uh, so what's wrong with that? Nothing. I think there's nothing wrong with at it. I just price, think it's at, different. At that price, at, at this price, it's, it's, it's good. It's a no-brainer. Buy yeah, it. it's a no-brainer. Buy two.